Hello, this is uh, Frank Valente with EXP Realty in Northern California. And today I wanted to give you a market update as of May 18th. So I, what I wanted to do this time is give you some raw data so you could draw your own conclusions. I'll give you mine. So I took Placer, Sac, El Dorado counties, and then I broke it down into two week segments. Starting March 15th was significant about that is when the stay at home order went into place. And then I want to look at new listings, homes that went in a hold status, I'll explain that, homes that went pending under contract, and the actual sales. So prior to March 14th, we had 1,189 new listings come on the market for the year. Right now we have a total of 3,400 new listings, active listings on the market. And when the stay at home order went in place, those first two weeks it was, it was 353, and then it went to 388, and then in, in April we started to see it pick up, 574, and then the first two weeks of May, we had 952 new listings come on the market. Hold status, think of hold status as the seller kind of hits the pause button on their listing. They don't fully take it off the market, but they don't want it shown. So prior to March 14th, we had 110, and then in the first two weeks of March, we had 122, so that was a big jump. And then it dropped down 58, and then the last 30 days, 66 and 69. As far as pending, and when I say pending, that means a home that has gone under contract. And when the stay-at-home order went in place for those two weeks, we only had 79 homes in those three counties going under contract. And then the next two weeks, it was 178. And then now for the last 30 days, I've seen that go up to 577 and 676 homes under contract. As far as actual sales, in, in the first part of March, we had just over a thousand homes that actually closed. And then for the first two weeks in April, it was 811, and then 810, and then the first two weeks of May, it dropped to 540. But when you look at these closed sales, these closed sales here are the result of the pending sales up here. So I'm going to expect that to come up. So kind of my cliff note version of what's going on with the market. We definitely did see a change in the market when that stay at home order went into place. New homes, new homes coming on the market dropped significantly. However, in the last 30 days, it's gone back up. Same thing with homes going under contract. When the stay-at-home order went into place, it dropped. And now in the last 30 days, I'm seeing those numbers and some contracts coming back up. So if you have any questions on the market, please call or text me on 916-257-0893. Or you can always email me, frank, at frankvalenti.com. And have a great day. Bye-bye.